Hello dear learners, in this video I am going to discuss meaning and importance of national income. If you find the video useful, please like it and if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe to it. So let us start with the topic meaning of national income. So what do you mean by national income? What the exact meaning of national income? So national income is nothing but it measures the total value of goods and services produced within the economy over a period of time. So here you have to keep in mind that it is the total value of goods and services and the goods and services produced within the economy and over a period of time. These three things you should Keep in mind. So let us understand it further that the national income is nothing but the market value of all final goods and services produced in an economy in a financial year. So in this uh, meaning you can see there are four important components. What are those four components? You can see here the first one is the market value or the money value. So in national income what we do? We measure the value of all the goods and services in money term and that is the market value of final goods and services. Not the intermediate goods nor the raw materials. We consider only the final goods and services and that are produced in an economy and in a financial year. So this is the meaning of national income. I'll repeat again, national income is the money value or market value of all the final goods and services produced in an economy in a financial year. So this is the exact meaning of national income. Now let us move on to the next part of our topic that is importance of national income. Why is national income important? Why do we study important? Why it is so important for the country, for the economy to know the national income? So let us start. The first thing because of which we need to know, we need to calculate national income is economic performance. We know the economic performance or the working of economy we come to know with the help of national income. If national income is growing, we can say the economy is performing well. If it is not, we will say that economy is going downward. So, to judge the economic performance of an economy, national income is one of the parameters. So this is first point. The second point is economic policies. The national income data are important tool of macroeconomic analysis and policy. The national income data form the basis of economic policies that is uh, fiscal and monetary policies because these figures enable us to know the direction in which the industrial output, investment and savings etc. change and proper measures can be adopted to bring the economy to the right path. So the economic policies are made in line with the national income national income becomes the guiding light for making the economic policies. So this is the second point. The third point is economic planning. The national income data are the most important tools for long term and short term economic planning. A country cannot make a plan without having a proper prior knowledge of the trends in national income. For economic planning, it is very important that the data pertaining to 
countries' gross income, output, saving, consumption from different sources should be available. Without this, planning is not possible. So this is the third important point. The next one is economic modeling. The economic modeling is a tool available in economics which helps in forecasting about future, future demand, future cost of production, future supply. So the modeling is done to predict the future and economists build short-run and long-run economic models in which the national income data are widely used. So for economic modeling purposes also, the national income is important. The next point is economy is a structure. The national income data enable us to have clear idea about the structure of the economy. It enables us to know the relative importance of various sectors of the economy. Structure means the relative importance of different sectors of the economy that primary, secondary and services sector and their co contribution towards national income. From these, this study also we learn how income is produced, how an income is distributed and how much is spent, how much is saved and taxed in the economy. So it gives so the overall structure uh, of the economy. So uh, from this perspective also national income is very important. Next point is distribution of income. The national income data enable us to know about the distribution of income in the country. From the data we uh, come to know uh, how much of the wages and rents, interest, profits uh, uh, we learn the disparities in the incomes of different sections of the society, the inequality among the people. Similarly, the regional distribution of income is revealed. It is only on the basis of this that the government can adopt measures uh, to remove inequalities in income distribution and to restore a regional equilibrium. So this is uh, the point. Next point is per capita income. So to know the per capita income, you need to know national income. You know, once you know the national income, you can easily calculate per capita income. National income, just you need to divide national income with the population of the country, you will get per capita income. and. Per capita income reflects the economic welfare of the country. The higher the per capita income, the higher the economic welfare and vice versa. So to know per capita income, we need to know national income. So from this angle also study of national income is important. Next comes the standard of living comparison. If you want to have comparison of standard of living um, among different regions or between countries, you need to know the national income. So national income studies help us to compare the standards of living of people in different countries and of people living in same country at different time zone. The next point is budgetary policies or budget preparation. So for budget preparation as well, you need to know the national income data. So modern governments try to prepare their budgets within the framework of national income data and try to formulate anti-cyclical policies according to the facts revealed by the national income estimates. Even the taxation and borrowing policies by the government are so framed as to avoid fluctuations in national income. Next point is distribution of grants in aid. We know that uh, grants in aid uh, distribution is done among different states. So national income estimates help a fair distribution 
of grants in aid by the federal governments to the state governments and other constituent units. Next point is international importance. National income studies are also important even in international affairs as these estimates not only help us to fix the burden of international payments equitably among different nations but it also enable us to determine the subscriptions and quotas of different countries to international organizations like World Bank, IMF, UNO, etc. Moreover, national income data is used to compare national economic growth and accordingly a ranking is done. So this way, uh, national income is very important to know for the country, for the development of the country. To, to, to summarize, we can say that the national income data helps in the measurement of the size of the economy, the level of economic performance, and it all also helps tracing the trend or the speed of economic growth in relation to previous years or in relation to the other countries. It also helps to know the composition and structure of the national income in terms of various sectors and the periodical variations in them. And finally, to make projections about the future development trend of the economy, how different government formulates suitable development plans and policies to increase uh, economic growth. So this is all about meaning and importance of national income thanks thanks for watching please do give uh, your comments and feedback